like do I know anything enough to be interacting with patients right now? Like, I don't know. Try not to cringe too hard because I know I am going to be cringing, so. Happy Monday and welcome back to another vloggy vlog. Mm, mm, mm. If you are new to my channel, hello, welcome. My name is Tay. I am a first year medical student at UCLA documenting this crazy journey to becoming a doctor. So if you are into med school vlogs, I post a new vlog every weekend, every Saturday at 12 p.m. PST. I take you through my entire week. It is week two, block two. We are still in cardiology. There are so many cool things that are gonna be happening this week. I start my clinical experience tomorrow in palliative care. So like, <sighs> we're gonna see patients, y'all. We're gonna actually like interact with people, be in a clinical setting. Like I just, oh my gosh, like what? Have I made it? I, I feel like I don't know anything enough to interact with patients. But we are in week two of cardiology, so we're still learning all about the heart. It's gonna be great. This block is really feeling like medical school. Like, I love it. So, it's about that time. You know what time it is. It's time for PBL, so we are gonna sit down. We're gonna have our tea, and we are going to do this PBL. The case this week is called Who Knows Why She Has Chest Pain, so I'm assuming the patient is gonna present with some sort of chest pain. We gotta figure out what's going on so we're gonna sit down we're gonna do this differential diagnosis work in the team and figure out what's causing this chest pain so i'll see y'all when i see y'all let's get it <sighs> okay pbl is done it was really really interesting actually it was probably one of the best pbls that um i've been to and basically what happened our patient used cocaine which we found out at the last minute and as a result had, she had a lot of heart complications and lung complications because of it. But it was really cool to like uncover that step by step and like look at the imaging and read the EKG, like to some of the stuff we're looking at. We had to read this EKG, look at the chest x-ray. So it was cool. And my learning issue this week is just looking into causes of chest pain that are not from the heart or the lungs. So just looking at like referred pain or anything that can cause chest pain from other systems of the body, just so that you're keeping, I don't know, just making sure that your diagnosis is broad or your differential diagnosis, you know, when you're coming in, you're not just automatically thinking about the heart because there's a lot of things that can cause chest pain. So that is my learning issue this week. Hopefully I can knock it out today, who knows? But it is now time for lecture, which I normally don't go to lectures live. We have two hours of lecture now especially after sitting for two hours for PBL. But I'm kind of in the mood to go to lecture live. Like, I don't know, who is she? So I think I'm gonna try it. Um, I'm at least go to the first one. We'll see how I feel. So, but I'm about to make some more Anki cards because I have more cards to do today, which is kind of why I didn't want to go to lecture. But I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do it. And yeah, let's go y'all, let's do it. went to lecture live. Okay, I only went to one lecture because the second one is a pre-recorded podcast anyway, so I couldn't go live if I wanted to. But I'm glad I went live, it was good. It's a really nice way, especially for these cardio lectures to like really understand what's going on. So I made my new Anki cards. That means I have to do some today now, which I didn't really wanna do. You can see now we have some extra cards for week two. I still need to go through week one cards. But actually I'm gonna take a break and edit an Instagram post that needs to go up today and then get back to Anki is gonna be the plan for this morning and then getting a workout later. So let's edit this Instagram video and then get back to studying. Let's go. Okay, my post is up on Instagram. I'm really proud of myself for getting that up. Now I'm going to watch the other lecture, make the Anki cards and do the Anki cards. Bam, all before we work out. So. We're gonna get that done, and then we're gonna work out. All right, y'all, I have 
watched all the lectures for today. I have made all the Anki cards and I have gone through all of the Anki cards. I'd say this is a productive Monday. So it is late, it's like 5.25 p.m. and I'm going to knock out a quick hit workout, like less than 20 minutes in, out, and then I'm gonna sit down at my desk and make some notes. That's gonna be the plan. We're gonna knock out a quick workout. We are going to sit at the desk, understand farm, hopefully get through some stuff from today too, although I understand today's stuff pretty well since I've already gone through the Anki cards. And then we're just gonna make sure we get a lot of sleep because tomorrow I start my first clinical rotation, first clinical experience. Of course, I'm gonna take y'all with me, but you know, patient information is confidential, so I will just share just a bit about how my experience was, nothing specific, but I'm so excited, y'all. So that's the plan. I'll see y'all when I actually get out of my pajamas. It's 5 p.m. and I'm still in my pajamas and put on my workout outfit. So let's get it done. Workout is done. It was really quick. Just what I needed to get my blood pumping. And now I am going to make some Trader Joe's ravioli that I have. I'm all about Trader Joe's fall goods. I'm gonna see which one is best. Pairing it with this creamy autumn harvest pasta sauce. I'm literally testing out which one is better right now. So we'll see. And then I'm gonna sit at my desk and study. Study, study, study. So I'm excited though. Okay, bye. All right, so I completely forgot that my doctoring assignment is due tonight. We are supposed to reflect on our final patient interview that I did in my finals week vlog that I didn't record because they recorded it for us. So now I'll show you a little bit of it because your girl killed it. Oh, look at me go, y'all. You see that? Your girl got 100%. Not that it's graded, but did I tell y'all that I killed this interview or did I tell y'all that I killed this interview? 100%, baby. Um, I felt really good about this one though. So I'm excited to watch it back. No, I'm not excited. What am I even saying? Why am I lying? I'm not excited to watch this again. It's cringy. So I am gonna show y'all a little bit, but I'm not gonna show you the actual standardized patient just because they get paid to do this. And I don't know if they've consented to it being recorded in this way. So I'm just gonna show me. Here's a little snippet of my final patient interview from block one. Try not to cringe too hard because I know I am going to be cringing. So let's do it. Hi, my name is Tay Butler. I'm a first year medical student here at UCLA. Is it okay if I chat with you a bit before the doctor comes in? Sure. Okay, and how would you like to be addressed today? Uh, Robert's good. Okay, Robert. And how is it logging in to Zoom today? I know telehealth can be a bit confusing. Do you have any problems with that? I'm saying what brings you into the clinic today? This is so cringy. Um, it's kind of embarrassing. And I just want to let you know that anything that you share with me, just going to tell the supervising physician. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm going to watch the rest of this, obviously, relive this interview and write my reflection on it how I did. I think I actually did really well. I'm not even going to lie, not to toot my own horn, but I felt really good about this interview and I really felt like I connected with the patient and I'm getting so much better. I'm not getting nervous. So I'm going to write that reflection and then transition into doing some lecture based stuff. Cool. Cool. Let's get it going. Ooh. It is almost 1 a.m., 12.50 a.m., and I have just been sitting here watching Criminal Minds, making my notes. I haven't even colored them in yet. Look at this, this is what I drew today. Ooh. I understand farm. So that was like the one thing from last week that I just, I just didn't get it and I didn't have time to go through it and missed all the questions about it on my self-assessment, but now I've gone through it. It makes so much sense. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm going to head to sleep now and just pick back up in the morning with Anki. I think I'm actually gonna go to lectures live again tomorrow just because I have my clinical experience in the afternoon for three hours and I don't think I'm gonna wanna watch lectures when I come back. I think it's been a productive Monday though. I'm feeling good about Monday. I'm feeling good about this week. We can do it y'all. It's tough. Like the going gets tough, but you just gotta keep going, okay? You just gotta keep pushing forward. Remember why you started your journey, whatever journey you're on and it'll make the work just worth it in the end. So, okay, good night. <laughs> 
morning, y'all. It is about 10 a.m. I woke up at 9.45, feeling rested, I'm feeling good, and I'm about to log into lecture because your girl is going live today. So I'm gonna try and sit through these two lectures. The first one is live live, the second one is a podcast. I'm still gonna try and watch it at the normal lecture time. Here we go, my tea is a brewin. We're learning about afterload today. Zoom University, baby. Lecture one is done. Let's watch the second lecture. Let's just knock it out. Let's just knock it out. Okay, I can do this. Let's get it done, y'all. Let's get it done. <laughs> <laughs> I y'all are always in the background of all of these. I'm about to get dressed. I just finished watching the second lecture because I'm on my thing. Got my past tracker all filled out. This one was kind of hard, so it gets a two for the ranking. Gonna make some food so that I'm not hungry and then get dressed to head to the clinical site because I'm not gonna be late, okay? I refuse to be late. Okay, I'm figuring out what to wear. I've never been to clinic before yet in medical school, so I'm not really sure what to wear. I think I'm gonna go safe with business casual i know i need to wear my white coat so this is the outfit i have kind of this nice top target white coat of course some nice kind of dressy pants and low rise heels that's what i'm gonna go with today hopefully it's comfortable enough to stand in for three hours i mean i did interview day in them so Hopefully that works. I'm gonna get all dolled up. I guess not dolled up because I'm gonna be wearing a mask, but I'm just gonna wash my face, get dressed, grab something to eat, and then head on over. <sighs> okay, let's do it. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Patience, I'm so excited. Okay, I'll see you on the flip side. Okay, bye. She's dressed and ready. I can't believe this. It is about that time. It's about 1 p.m. Starts at 1.30, it's only seven to nine minutes away. I'm gonna leave now. I feel like I need a bag. <sighs> a bag, but I have to bring my face shield, masks, I have an N95 just in case they want me to wear that. And we're off y'all, so I'll see you when I get to the place and then probably afterwards. Okay, bye. <sighs> oh my gosh, okay y'all, I'm here. I'm in the parking structure. Um, I'm here 10 minutes early. They have free visitor parking for me, which is so sweet. Like in the building, I didn't have to struggle to find parking. <sighs> So this is where I must leave you. How am I feeling right now? I'm just, I'm, I'm like kind of nervous. I I, but I'm excited because this is what I came to medical school for. You know, sorry, I'm trying to find the light. It's so dark in here. This is what I came to medical school for. So I'm just excited to learn and take some things away. So I'll see y'all on the other side. Okay, bye. Okay, I just got done with my first clinical rotation of medical school. I can't believe it. I got let out like two hours early, but I did get to see a few patients. It was really cool. I ain't gonna lie. It was really cool. I am rotating through palliative care. So that is dealing with people who have serious illnesses, life-threatening illnesses. The way that they just approach caring for the patient is just like the type of doctor I want to be you know they they look at what the patient's goals are what the family's goals are and then how medicine can fit into that in order to achieve those goals and those values and that is like holistic patient care is my thing that is why I became a doctor that's why I am in medical school that honestly this was like such a good match for me with respect to like the team and everyone was just amazing so I am really looking forward to going again I go once a month for the next year when you get to see patients it just reminds you why you're studying all of this material and why you're spending hours doing Anki and trying to pass your exams like this is what it's for so that you can be great and excellent for your patients. Now I'm gonna grab a Subway sandwich since I'm out early and I am gonna study. Ah! Okay, bye. All right, I'm home, changed into the study gear. I got a little Starbucks, I got a Subway sandwich, and I'm going to eat some lunch. And then it's time for- Do the right thing here and there, and I would really appreciate it. I need you to calm down, Aaron. Okay, I am going to eat, watch some Netflix, and then do Anki cars, and then study. Woo, 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 I'm so excited to study. All right, let's go.
I'm done. Finally with Anki, my brain, y'all. I am so tired of looking at this screen. We did 429 cards today. It took me so long. I've been sitting here for almost two hours learning these cards, but I am keeping up. I feel good on week one still, learning week two really well, keeping my streak going. I'm really trying to have this all be blue for this entire block. I wanna do Anki every single day. It's really, it, it, it's a game changer, y'all. I'm gonna take a quick little study break, maybe get a snack, and then Criminal Minds and Notes. I'm still understanding farm um, a little bit more. We have another farm lecture tomorrow, so my goal is to really, really solidify the farm concepts before our new lecture tomorrow. We're making waves, y'all, we're making waves. I'll see you when I'm back to studying. Okay, bye. Okay, I just finished my break. My friend told me I should do my PBL learning issue. <laughs> so I'm gonna knock that out right now. Get you friends that motivate you to be better. I'm gonna knock out PBL right now and then do some more studying. So let's knock it out. I did it, knocked it out. Look at that beautiful slide. Non-cardiac chest pain. Mm. Look at her, look at us, look at me go. So now I'm going to Study some more. I'm gonna try and understand farm some more before tomorrow's farm lecture. I'm excited to have my night free. So let's get it done. I need to make my tacos. Maybe I'll make tacos now and then study. Good plan, let's go. Tacos have been made. Look at these, look at these from scratch. Ooh, <sighs> gonna sit, watch some Criminal Minds and then start this study game over again. Mm, mm, mm. So excited to eat these. Chef's kiss. All right, it's been a long but productive day. I realized I also have a histopathology lab tomorrow, which I haven't had in a long time. And that requires us to look through a prep file of slides so that we can come to lab prepared. And then we have to take a lab quiz on that file before we go to lab. Did okay on this quiz. Here's some of the stuff we're looking at. We're looking at heart muscle since we're learning cardio this week. So here's some cool slides. And there's another farm lecture in the morning, which I'm probably gonna go to live because I'm crazy now and I'm a live lecture goer this week. Oh, am I though? Cause I need to go to sleep then cause lecture's at 10. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. All right, well, I guess I'm turning in. I got some good work done. Still not as much work as I would want to get done, but there's always work. So I'll see y'all in the morning when I can speak because I'm so tired. Okay, good night. Right, I finished both lectures. I went to both lectures live. That farm lecture was, let's just say I need to study some more farm. So now I'm going to do that. I don't know if I'm gonna do Anki cards first or make notes. It's gonna be one of those two. And then I have to head off to histopathology lab. So we'll see. Look, I cut my notes. <laughs> okay, let's get to work. All right, y'all, I am on my way to histopathology class. I was able to get through like half of my Anki cards this morning that I wanted to. So I will have to do the other half when I get home around five, but feeling pretty good considering I went to lecture. So all I have to do is review and do them Anki cards. So I'll check in with y'all when it's done, but it feels good to be on campus. So I'll see you later. Okay, just got back home from Histopath Lab. It was really good. We looked at slides for heart attacks, normal cardiac tissue. I was actually understanding things, y'all. Like what we were learning in lecture and what I've been studying through Anki was making sense. Let me show you. Here's some of the slides that I was annotating. Artery, vein, just figuring out how to distinguish between them. And then the different layers of the heart, Purkinje fibers that conduct the heart electrical impulses, so it was super cool. This is from a heart attack, just some scarring. So, it was really good, and now I need to do my Anki cards, finish the Anki cards that I didn't get to do this morning before I left, and then study, study, study. So, let's get it done. Yeah, praladoxine, baby. Okay, just finished 
the Anki cards for today. I love a blank Anki screen. Almost 400 cards. It took me a long time today, but I know that information. So we're going to dig even deeper and spend the rest of the night making our notes. You know the deal, we're gonna watch some Criminal Mind. Let's knock out this work and have a productive rest of the night. Okay, let's go. All right, y'all, it is almost 1 a.m. This seems to be my time schedule that I'm keeping. I've just been sitting, writing notes, going through lectures. I've gone through all the farm lectures. I was finishing up going through the cardiac cycle lectures, but I understand the cardiac cycle pretty well, so should be fine. I think I'm gonna head to sleep because we have a packed day tomorrow. Let me show you what the schedule looks like because it's ridiculous. Oh my gosh, this poor cut on my nose. My poor nose. This is tomorrow's schedule. We have three lectures in the morning and then a three hour lab in the afternoon. So tomorrow's about to be crazy. You know what? Let's just make this a week of going to lectures live, okay? And see what happens. So I'm going to head to sleep so that I can wake up and hopefully be present for that. So I'll see y'all in the morning. Okay, good night. Crusty Dusty. Good. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Or afternoon. It is now noon on the dot. I just sat through three hours of lecture this morning. New me this week. Like, since when do I do lectures live? But honestly, it's been helping me a lot this week because it gives me more time to study in the afternoon. So I've actually been kind of enjoying it. So we'll see if this is going to be a regular thing. But today is a busy, busy day. I showed you my schedule at the end of yesterday. But now I have like an hour break. I've been sitting for three hours and I have a three hour cardio sim lab this afternoon starting at one so i have less than an hour to like get my life together i would like to do anki cards so i'm gonna try and do as many anki cards as i can right now because i'm pretty sure there's a lot i don't even want to look i don't want to see how many there are and then we're gonna do this cardio sim lab which i'm actually excited about because i think it's gonna really bring together all of the cardiac cycle pressure pressure volume curves all that good stuff so i'm kind of looking forward to it hopefully i get something out of it and then we're gonna study for the rest of the day the week is almost done like what oh my tree has grown there it is 129 coins here we go four coral all right i'm gonna try and get some food and then do anki cards and then do this lab so let's have a productive day today let's get it done let's get it done get it done okay bye Okay, I did some Anki cards, but it's now one, so time for the lab. I'm already logged in. Professor, they coded this like special, I don't know, software that can help us just understand action potentials better. Lab manual for everything we're gonna be doing. I'm actually kind of excited, so let's learn. Just got out of Cardio Sim Lab. It was long, but sorry, let me finish eating my M&Ms. It was long, but I actually feel like I took a lot away from it. I actually like paid attention and really tried to understand the concepts, ask questions when I didn't understand things. So I'm feeling pretty good. If you want to see a little bit of what it looked like. Here's a program on the computer and we were just running simulations of the cardiac cycle, changing different variables with respect to it. So that's what we did. Now I need to finish my Anki cards. I'm going to eat something, finish these Anki cards, and then get back to making notes. Same thing every day. Productive. I have finally finished my Anki. Oh my goodness, when I tell you that took me forever, that took me forever. Two hours today. I studied almost 600 cards. You see that? You see that? Oh my gosh. My brain hurts. But it is time for a much needed break. Gonna go get some food and then come back and make some notes for what is left of the night. I'm gonna try and go to sleep early tonight because I have PBL in the morning. I'm proud of myself for sticking through. I wanted to quit, y'all. I wanted to quit. 
I did not want to do all these cards. I was tired. You saw me slumped in my chair, falling asleep. <clears throat> I've been sitting at this desk for Five hours. literally probably like 10 hours. <laughs> Grab some food, finish studying. <gasps> okay, bye. Every time. Good morning. You know the deal, it's 8 a.m. It's time for PBL. I'm so tired, y'all. Let's knock out PBL and then two hours and lecture. for those that just came in, I will share <laughs> the link in our chat. All right, let's knock out PBL. Let's knock out two hours of lecture. Let's have a great Friday. Okay, PBL just ended. I didn't even have to present my learning issue, which I'm not mad about because I was really tired. But now we have about 10 minutes before lecture starts. Today is gonna be a long day. I need to go to two hours of lecture, do my Anki cards, film a Gymshark haul for YouTube and edit it together. And then review the vlog that's gonna be going up. You know how it works. Y'all will already have seen the vlog. It's gonna be a good long day and I'm still tired. I didn't get enough sleep again but it's okay. I'm just gonna stand up, stretch before I sit down for two hours of lecture. I can't believe I'm actually going to lectures live. I know I've said that like 18 times, but I'm like, what? Who is she? Lecture today is cardiac metabolism and coronary circulation. Okay, bye, let's get it. Oh my God. Just finished both lectures and PBL. I've been sitting at my desk for four hours. And I'm about to sit for like two more hours because I'm going to knock out my Anki cards for the day and just be done. Just be done with it, you know? So I said earlier I need to film this haul for Gymshark to get up on YouTube and then I'm also gonna edit it. I haven't edited a video in a long time. I usually outsource to Ashley, but I feel like this is just such short notice. So I am just gonna edit this thing together and hopefully get it up on Sunday. But yeah, that's the plan for today. So I've got my Whitney Simmons Gymshark version two washing up so that I can film with it. And in the meantime, we're gonna knock out these Anki cards. I'm really not looking forward to it. I feel like I just did Anki, but honestly, it's been such a game changer in helping me retain information. So let's see how many cards we have. Oh. That's about 308 cards total, including 58 new ones from today's lectures, 250 that are due. I'm really not looking forward to this. But we're gonna knock it out because consistency is so, so key. So let's do it, fam. Two hours later and we're done. You got through 300 cards in less than an hour? I got through 400 and 37 cards in 1.58 hours. 100% of days learned in block two. I've been on it. Tired is an understatement, but I'm excited to now transition to Criminal Minds and Notes. All right, I'll see you when I see you, when I decide to study again. Okay, bye. Okay, I wrote notes. Bam pow. And now it's movie night. This is the pick. We got food and we go watch this movie. All right, y'all, it's literally Sunday night. I totally forgot to close this vlog. I studied all night Friday and then just crashed. So thanks for sticking with me through yet another week in medical school. I would say this was a successful week in medical school. I was feeling good. I figured out how I'm gonna study and I think it's working really well. So until next week, we start a new vlog tomorrow, but for y'all, it'll be like next week. You know how it works. So until then, hang tight, do big things. Be great. Okay, bye.